Welcome. In this lecture, which has multiple sessions, we'll explore Tikhonov regularization and one of its applications to signal denoising. The main concepts are what is Tikhonov regularization. We won't go through proofs, but we will go through the results. Similarly, we'll explore very briefly total variation. Each one of these, incidentally, could be a course in itself. We'll take one application of total variation that is called denoising, and we'll represent this as a problem in Tikhonov regularization. As we go through the lecture, let's remember this. Let's think about how can we impose a cost in optimization. That's an idea that we haven't had yet. So let's start by recalling ordinary least squares and constrained least squares. In ordinary least squares, we're given a design matrix and a data vector, and the problem is to minimize the norm the squared norm of the difference between the regression and the dependent values. The solution is we use the normal equation to compute this optimal result. In constrained least squares, we're given a non-negative constraint value, and we then have to solve a constrained optimization problem where this is a Lagrange function. The solution we had was first we compute the optimal Lagrange multiplier, and then we compute the optimal vector. Tikhonov regularization is a method. Originally, Andrei Tikhonov was looking at um, some integral equations that came in what are called ill-posed problems. Uh, he was looking at it in 1963, and if we remember um, our uh, constrained least squares, Horrell in 1959 was looking at problems in regression. And these integral equations and regression equations are very closely related. So Tikhonov in 1963 observed some of the difficulties. Because of world politics, this really didn't make it into the Western world until about 1974. His approach was to make ordinary least squares, and he used the term regular, and he wanted a positive scalar, so that's a a non, not just a non-negative, a positive number where you took the regression um, norm, uh, squared norm, and then you add a multiplier times the norm of the solution. Now, this looks like a Lagrange multiplier. The difference is, this is not a Lagrange function. This is an objective function. And the difference is, you're given lambda. So we'll refer to a lambda or a value that, you're, that you're, the user is provided that is cr critical to our problem. We'll call that a hyperparameter. So here, the Lagrange multiplier is not a multiplier. Lambda instead is a hyperparameter that the user has to supply. So that is the difference between this being a Lagrange function and this being a Tikhonov, a one form of Tikhonov regularization is whether or not the user supplies that multiplier.